Guys, I want to say thanks to Z Workstations. We're editing all these videos on our dual Xeon rig. Uh, now, the thing about Z Workstations is they use HP Workstations. They customize them. They have way more options than HP. They're easier to configure than just about anybody out there on the planet, and they don't make you jump through a lot of hoops. And plus, they are lower cost when compared to the same thing on the HP website. So if you guys need a workstation, check out Z Workstations. Also, thanks to ASRock. Be sure to check out our coverage on their AMD and their Intel products. All the links for all this are in the description. In uh, about, God, in less than 12 hours or so? No, maybe about 12 hours, we're gonna be getting up and getting ready to go to the airport at like five in the morning. Are you ready for that? It's gonna be wonderful. I don't like sleep anyways. <laughs> this, this week has just destroyed the office. It looks like this right now. Uh -huh. It was that. so clean, and then this happened. We got a million things in the mail, oh, and so many things to get ready for Computex, and then it's like, all right, we've got to just get all this stuff done. Um, in this video, we're going to show you guys what we're doing to get ready for Computex. And the first thing is fixing Justin's laptop. So this is something you guys should do if you have a laptop, too, and it's old and needs, needs an upgrade. You see this? This is an older laptop. By older, I mean just a couple of years. What's in here, like a 960, 970? Something, I don't know. So it's got a decent graphics card, but it's got a regular hard drive in it. Now, a lot of you guys who have purchased hard or purchased um, laptops in the last few years, you're gonna have one of those and not one of these. So the biggest upgrade you can do is not actually upgrading your GPU, well, maybe for games, but not upgrading your CPU. But if you've got a regular spinning disc, putting one of these in there is gonna save your life. So. Let's go ahead and put it on the table here. This laptop is really easy to work with. It's a gaming laptop, and a lot of the gaming laptops out there from you know MSI and, and Asus and everybody, really easy. Just this little panel here, you unscrew all the screws, ignore that stupid sticker because that's not even legal. Just rip right through it, you're still under warranty. So they say, don't hold me to that, they'll fight you in court. And then here we have access to the internals. Now you're gonna wanna Google your exact model and just Google like the model and then tear down and see what room you have underneath. Now for the newer stuff, uh, you're gonna have room for M.2 drives, uh, probably. Um, but this one, there's actually an extra spot over here for a hard drive. And we even have two SO DIMMs if we wanted to upgrade our RAM. So this one has lots of upgrade options. As far as putting this in, well, we're gonna go clean it first, but right here, that's got power and your SATA port right there. So it should be really easy just to pop in there. Now this should have come with some sort of a sled or something to, to brace this. Now here's the, here's the thing guys. If you can't find the screws or you can't figure out how to brace it, you can kind of get away with just like taping it in there. Make sure it's in there tight. Make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. But this is an SSD, not a spinning disc. So if it moves around a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Um, but you want to make sure it's really secure. So that's not the best way to do it, but if it's your only way to do it, if you don't have all the pieces, or if you just lost them, or if you can't figure out how to get in there, it's okay to tape it or glue it or, well, glue it and stick in there forever. Just tape it down. So yeah, maybe this is how you guys are going to end up doing, but maybe not. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's, it's, it, it, that's not going anywhere. That's gaffer tape. Yep. Uh, duct tape can get a little gunky. Electrical tape may not hold that well. Scotch no. tape, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. I like I like gaffer because it's also used for like stage lighting holding down and stuff like that. So it's designed to like for heat and everything. Putting up with heat a little bit better than duct tape is because duct tape's got that plastic yeah. finish to it that'll kind of melt. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, get our Windows serial number. If you've got a laptop, it's typically like on the back somewhere. This one's actually under the battery right there. You wanna show them that or? Oh yeah, but don't show them that. But it's under the battery. And then if you can't find it, there are ways to. Uh, to get it through the PowerShell or through the command prompt. Pretty easy to grab your Windows serial number if you had one before. Clean your filthy laptop. We'll, we'll make a video about that one day. Yeah. Um, yeah we did, yeah, you guys should watch it. It's really good. I, yeah. I watched it once. This has been, so this laptop has been sitting on our bed for like a year. So it's actually not a bad laptop. It's just uh, mm. maybe a couple of years out of date, but um, this is ridiculous. I don't know how anybody could use a laptop with a spinning disc. It's been, over a minute easily <laughs> and it's still just thinking isn't it's barely thinking about maybe going into the os it took us like four minutes to get into windows and then just trying to click on manage for this pc uh, go down to disk management and let's see if our new ssd showed up uh, give it about an hour god this thing it's trying oh it's cold. there it is yep 
Yes. Are you okay deleting everything on this machine? Yeah, kill it. I'm gonna kill it. Yep. All right, we're gonna erase everything. If you guys wanna get your, uh, your serial number or your Windows key, and uh, it's not on your laptop or anything like that, and this has to be installed by an OEM because it'll be something that can pull from the UEFI or the BIOS, uh, the code for that is GWMI space Win32 underscore BIOS, and then you put a space break space FL space serial number, just like that. And when I hit enter, it's gonna give me my serial number. That's the serial number. Did the OEM not install this? If it's in the BIOS, it'll be right there. If not, it's a little more complicated and goes beyond the, the, the scope of this video because we're just goofing off. Here's what we're taking with us. Have you guys seen those like hipster videos where they put like all their cool stuff, all their gear from their bag, their little leather satchel? Yeah. This is ours right here. <laughs> This is our really neat, pretty video of, oh, look at all our cool stuff. Over here, Justin's laptop that we just restored. You guys just saw that. Yeah. Mouse, of course. Oh, model price mouse. Yep. These are always handy to have. Uh, we're taking a power strip as well, but like a little USB. Taiwan is, they're usually North American standard as far as plugs go, but I've got some adapters anyway, just in case. Yeah. Charger for that. Very important in new places. I do not sleep well. My laptop right here, GS70. Hi. Phoenix Swift mouse, the most important thing in the entire bag. Yep. Right there, without that, nothing works. Mm -hmm. Power strip, we, taking, we can't take these on the plane. These are just here, we can't take yeah. the, the, the thing on the plane. Power strip, that's shitty, whatever. Yeah. All right, book to write uh, stuff about the RPG. You can see on the wall there, a book to continue this. Yeah. Eye storage for our top secret plans. Pens and pencils. Very important. Chargers for double A. And triple A. Uh, we can't show you these business cards over there. Mm -hmm. This is a charger for these huge things that are for our light over there. That comes with us, that little light. All these chargers here come with us. All this junk right here, all these chargers. This one we don't need, but... No, we just need that one. Yeah, we just need that little guy right there in case. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'll even need a, one of those. But no, I don't think we need D-cells or anything. We're we'll not D-cells. Uh, we can probably that. get away with taking one more of these. So these are really handy audio recorders from Zoom. They're small, they sound great. Um, and then the microphones, these are $25 microphones that sound as good as any Sennheiser that's 100 bucks. I'll put the link in the description for these things. And then... Last but not least, our camera of choice at the show is the Sony RX10 II because it's 4K, even though I'm not gonna be shooting 4K, I'll shoot 1080p at this event. Uh, but it's just really versatile, pretty fast on the autofocus and good quality for what it is. Uh, last up, we've got our wireless lav kit. Now this is a dual wireless lav kit from Comica. The thing I like about this kit is it allows both of us to hook up to the same Handycam or SLR camera at the same time, both have running commentary. So we're gonna take these with us. They also, is this the lithium ion one? Yep, this is the rechargeable one. Rechargeable one. Mm -hmm. These things are nice. I'll show you some of the stuff I keep in my backpack with me pretty much all the time. Really important stuff, extra contact case. Lego in there. Beer opener is always important. Extra USB things. Uh, extra charger. And I usually keep one of these in my bag that I'm taking around with me because you never want to be stuck in a foreign country with something stuck in your teeth. Like, do you? Like seriously? No. <laughs> Take your philosophy. I got those picker things. Picker things? Yeah. And here I just always have some extra USB cables, whatever they are, USB 3, uh, mini, USB, sorry, I'm sorry, USB Type-C, not 3. Type-C, Type-C. Just in case uh, we happen to sit beside some nerds on the plane, Oh man, you have emergency dice in your bag too? I always keep emergency <laughs> dice, man. <laughs> I thought I was the only one. <laughs> nope, gotta have, a, gotta have the emergency dice. In case a rogue game of D&D &D breaks out. Uh, here's my book for uh, writing stuff about the game in there. I always carry a decently long HDMI cable with me. And that's because when you get into the hotel, they always have a, a, you know, a screen. And I can hook it up as my secondary monitor mm. for, uh, for my computer. Good idea. I should do that too. And uh, then I'll put my laptop in here, and a few more adapters. Yeah. So what are you what are you bringing for uh, entertainment on the plane? 
a sleep mask. You don't have a book or anything you're reading right now? Oh, well, I'm just about finished with The Expanse, but uh, Hannah recommended something that I'm going to start reading, actually. So uh, a friend that we've been going hiking with, or I've been went hiking with, recommended a, a book because I like hard-boiled sci-fi, and I like fantasy, but I don't like high fantasy. So she said to check out Matthew Coville's um, book called Priest. It's book one in uh, the rat, rat catchers, yeah. The Priest oh, Rat Catchers. Yeah, I've heard of that series. So it's recommended good. that. So I got that on my e-reader and I'm gonna start reading mm -hmm. that. See how it is. It's got a really good ratings. I like hard boiled, so mm -hmm. that might be fun. And Matthew Colville does some really interesting uh, YouTube videos so you guys can search for him on YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm gonna be bringing. Uh, how about you? What are you entertainment on the on the trip? Uh, I'm bringing my Switch with me because I need to catch up on my Zelda game because I have been not playing it for months. I'm so spoiled from Simu, dude. It, it looks so good on the computer. I know. I'm hoping that you're not going to be like, no, 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 you have to go over here. No, no, I'm no. I'm going to say a damn thing. Yeah. Um, and then I, Maybe I will. And then I, I got this in a uh, Reddit gift exchange a couple months back, and I haven't started it yet. You so. take that with you? Yeah. Apparently, it's about an assassin that manages to hatch a dragon, and then like can control it with his brain or something like that. I, I just read it really quickly. A too close to real life there. I don't know. Yeah. But... So I, I'm okay with higher fantasy and stuff, so I'm probably gonna be reading this. All right guys, so uh, we're in Taiwan. Again, check out Z Workstations. If you're someone who uh, is doing 3D rendering or has a company doing creative stuff, uh, check them out because they're a better deal uh, than you're gonna get over if you just buy it at HP or whatever. Plus they have more parts. They have a much better part list. So be sure to check them out. Also don't forget to check out our ASRock coverage. We got two uh, videos, Intel and AMD. So check both of those out. And uh, let us know what you want to see. We'll read the comments and try to find the stuff that you guys are looking for at Computex. But, you know, more of the weird stuff because everybody goes to the same booths, EVGA, EVGA Corsair, whatever. Let us know.